guys welcome back to my channel my name is Inkem Doris in case this is your first time see my face I believe you can see it though okay let me adjust this let me adjust my camera some okay my name is Inkem Doris YouTube blogger YouTube content creator living here in Enugu Nigeria it's been quite a long time a big shout out to all my Ghanaian friends and family and a big shout out to all my Nigerian friends and family it's been long <laughs> it's been long i've been busy and um trying to fix a whole lot of things offline so a quick one guys i'm rushing out to work and i decided to make this video a quick one guys i i made mention of uh the day i discussed about the schooling system education system in nigeria so guys as i was saying the day i talked about nigeria and um Ghanaian schooling system education system a whole lot of people um because I, I i brought in a guest that talked about ghana and personally i know of nigeria so some people counted what my guest said and they have their own points and they said something regarding ghana boarding school and uh, different schooling system there in ghana okay which i will share with you all what they said that is their opinion on what they think regarding Ghana schooling system, especially but in school. But before I, I share with you guys what the person said, from what he said or what she said, sorry, I don't know whether it is he or she, he made mention of um, GES. So he talked about um, the, the reason why boarding school was introduced in Ghana. That is what he said, which I will read out here, that it was after the colonial, uh, the independence, um, Ghana independence, that was when boarding school was introduced in Ghana, and the reason was for interrelationship, intercultural relationship, interfood relationship, and all that. I believe you all guess what I'm saying. So that is the reason why boarding school was introduced in Ghana. Here in Nigeria, we have... Um, a lot of boarding schools and um, that is secondary school boarding school because we hardly have primary school boarding school so secondary that is from jss1 junior secondary school one to ss3 so i will not really say that it's because of the interculture or inter it's also because of that or uh, i think it's also because of inter relationship because the moment you leave the comfort of your home to mingle with other children from different home in a particular school it's typically about interrelationship. You have to relate with them. You have to uh, 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 have one or two things with them. So it's also about interrelationship. It's also about interculture because different backgrounds will be, you'll be under the same roof with them. I once lived in boarding school, but, but that was from SS1 to SS3. It was, uh, yeah, I enjoyed my stay then in school. There are some people that will tell you, no, that they cannot accept their words to be in boarding school that they don't like it they don't like it that the experience they had during the years is not worth allowing their own words or their own children to be in boarding school but i think all those things are different perspectives and uh, opinion which i won't say that theirs is not valid everyone with his or her own choice okay so let me just show you what those person said as we talk more on that later all right these are the comments this person says, Ghanaian boarding school system was introduced during the colonial time, coming into our fight for independence. Then later, after independence, it was introduced all across the country with the purpose of student interrelationship, learning different languages, food, and different cultures among students. Today, the Ghana Education Service, that is GES, has what it's called computer placement system, which does the school placement for the basic school graduates who are going to senior high school. So it gives opportunity to people to learn different things and are able to adapt and to relate and understand ourselves. I love this particular explanation from this Ghanaian and uh, from what he said here, computer placement system is the format that is being used to ascertain the people that will go into a higher level. It's just like here in Nigeria, after your junior secondary school, one 
two and three you have to take what we call junior wayek junior west african certificate examination you have to take the examination and that one alone will ascertain and also check your grades to see okay if you are you merit to go into ss1 that is senior secondary school and when you enter into senior secondary school that is where you now choose either you go for sciences or for arts okay so all i see here is a similarity is like come on there are things that are common between ghana and nigeria if you check the education system but i think from what this person said that they use computer placements in years this particular one during our own time it's a written exam it's not a computer exam i don't know whether they have changed the system now but they, you have to write exam it will be marked after some months the results will be out and pasted on the notice board where everybody will go and check if your name is there or shortlisted that means you have passed that stage to enter into senior secondary school and you entering into senior secondary school is not a determinant factor that you will succeed there you have to first of all choose first of all in ss1 senior secondary school one you have to study both science and arts then after some time you will now check yourself between the sciences and art which one are you doing so well in there are some schools that will even add commercial you will check the three if you're good in arts if you're good in sciences or even commercial then come ss2 that is the second year in senior secondary school you will be assigned a class everybody will go to his or her class where he or she falls in there and then you will now focus on that particular area that you feel like you are doing well if it's science is fine if it's arts it's fine so no other the essence of um art and uh, science students coming together in a class is for you to know the angle you will go into like you must have tested arts subjects and science subjects with that you will know the one that you will do better in if it's sciences then you get ready and make up your mind if it's arts you get ready and make up your mind i think it's a very very crucial point but the funny part of it is that there are some schools called science schools there is nothing like coming into ss1 then you have to now choose you just come into that ss1 and you dive right into a uh, uh, doing sciences so they assume that you must have made your choice when you were still in jss1 or junior secondary school section you understand so all those things i think there are a whole lot of things in common both in nigeria and also in ghana share in your thoughts and your views in the comment section and see you guys in my next video bye